Well, what do we have here? Cast iron heads. This is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing and it's a video you probably thought I'd never present because I don't like cast iron. Uh, for the record, I don't mind doing valve jobs and milling cast iron heads. I just don't port cast iron heads. So you're asking yourself, what head is this? This is the legal head for the um, USRA B-Mod um, engines. For those that are unfamiliar with this at all and been paying attention to my channel, there's a class, Circle Track Racing on Dirt. It's an amazing class, and it's called B-Mod. It like looks like a modified, if you know what those are, except for they have these weird engine rules that are like this. You have to run a certain type of head. You can run a stock head, certain ones. You can't run Vortec. You can't run double humps. Um, you have to run these uh, really bad heads, or you can run aftermarket heads like these. This is from Dart. This is like their super stock heads, I guess. And this is their legal part number, 1000 or 100, 24267. There's two different versions of this. One's a 194 valve and this one's a 202. They have 76 cc chambers. Um, this certain class requires you to run this head. This head doesn't gonna make a lot of power. It makes small block Chevys look horrible, but that's what they require. As far as economical goes, it's actually a pretty cheap head. That kind of shocked me. Usually whenever classes require a spec head, usually the spec head costs so much, or they give no discounts to dealers of theirs. <laughs> Brodix, a spec head, ACS. Um, but on this head, it actually is relatively uh, reasonable. However, it's not that great of a head. I've got phone numbers to show you, but I'll kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. We'll go through some things. First off, the chamber's great. There are two heads that are legal aftermarket. You have this dart, and then you have an EQ head. Uh, I haven't seen the EQ in a while, but the EQ one looks more like a stock 441 chamber. This one's more heart-shaped, and that's the reason why I like it, and that's why I'm glad it's legal. It is a straight plug, 202-1600. Some classes require 194, and they have a 194 legal head for this. Not the class we're running in. Uh, I shouldn't say we're the customer. It does have a five angle valve job. You can see the angles there. One, two, three, four. I forgot that one. One, two, three, four, five. So it's got a five angle valve job, but if you can tell, they left a nice ridge here. You can use a bow hog, or not bow hog, but there's a chamber blending tool you can use in your deal to do this. The rules do not allow porting, which is great because I don't port cast iron. Uh, if you're wondering to see what's it going to look like when you get all done, I'm not going to show you. That part's kept secret. But you could tell there's a lot to be improved if you ever happen to pick these up on like Facebook Marketplace. You got this huge lip here. And they've got a 1.6. Well, look how wide that 45 is. And a radius. Okay. There's that. But let's look at the rest of the head. It's a 165cc intake runner. So it's pretty small, as you can tell. And unlike a lot of aftermarket heads, these do not have um, bronze or guides. Instead, it's cast iron. So pretty much what they do, they cast the head with it, like it's here. And they have a tool that runs down here and it reams out and sizes the guide hole. But that's your guide right there. They're not replaceable like you would see in most aftermarket heads where you can just pound one out and pound another one in. These actually have to be cut out if you want to do a different guide that presses in and presses out. These are actually cast in the head. Also, the spring pocket itself is 125 diameter. You can run like a 126 or whatever. Most of the classes that run these require only stock diameter valve springs. Hence, that's the reason why they're only cut out for this and not larger. So, no big deal there. These actually have screw-in studs, which is great. And you can run guide plates. Those that are trying to run the after, the not aftermarket, but stock heads, We'll know that they have to do more machine work to cut these, pull out those existing studs on the stock heads, machine this back down, and then tap these for screwing studs. It's a lot more work, and it costs more. That's where these were almost better than having any any stock head and having them redone. You'd be better off to buy these. Which does bring up a point. If you're looking for like the cheapest way out, and I do mean the cheapest, but you want to stay American head for a small block Chevy, these are about it. Um, this really is one of the cheapest. Catch is shipping costs so much because they weigh so much and they're cast iron. Anyway, the head has a 165cc intake runner, 202-1600, straight plug, and I floated on a 4030 bore because the classes that these run in 
you have to put it on a 350. You can bore, I think, up to 30 over, maybe 60 over, depending on uh, what rules you have to follow. But that's where you're stuck. It also has to be a flat tap at camshaft. Some have hydraulic, some have solid roller. The ones this one is solid roller. Some have lift rules, some do not. Um, there's a whole bunch of like variations that go along with this. And this guy's, it's you can run a solid flat tap it, which is fine. Um, he has to run a two barrel, and they have a minimum or a maximum amount of seat pressure on the spring, kind of gets you idea so that you can't uh, rev it up. Also, you can't run beehives either. There's a whole bunch of other little weird rules in here too. But anyway, there's that. Let's look at the flow numbers real quick. By the way, this is the exhaust. Looks nice enough. You, as good as those look on the exhaust, you're gonna be surprised by how bad the exhaust actually flowed. So let's take a look at the numbers. Boom. The intake's not all that bad. So here's what I mean. The 400 number is the one I care most about. That's the one I'm really concerned with. It's not bad, 211. A stock Vortec, by the way, is around 212, 213. However, if you look at the later numbers, 237 at five, that's where it's at peak, and then 235, and it kind of drops off. That's better than a stock Vortec from what I my bench. It's about, usually the stock Vortec's about 232. So this is, you know, five CFM better there, about a CFM worse there, and about the same here. So for the most part, it's almost as good as a stock Vortec, almost. The exhaust actually flows about the same as the stock Vortec, which is horrible. Look at this. The 400 number is 135. Peak number is 144. It's really not that good. I would have thought for that, the exhaust port looking the way it does, it would have moved more air, but it just doesn't. And for the record, it's not so much the design, it's that huge lip that's right behind the exhaust valve. The good news is, no. Nope, can't do any porting, but they didn't say anything about a bull hog. And that's, I told you before about bull hogs and they open it up too much and killing the throat. In this case, you're gonna open it up just so you can get rid of that lip and make it move more air. Will you get to see any of this? No, because this is top secret voodoo stuff. I'm just showing you because it's a cast iron head and I know some people wanna know what the stock B-Mod head flows. If I ever get an EQ one in here, I'll flow it and you can compare it. Because I know a lot of the circle track guys wanna know which one's better. Um, I've seen both. I like the chamber design from the start better than I like the EQ one. I can't remember the flow numbers off the top of my head. And I even tried looking to see if I had a stock one, which I don't. So I can't answer if it's better than this uh, flow numbers. But when I get one in, if I ever do, if I have another customer that way, I'll let you know. But this is the darts. Sorry you won't get to see the after numbers. Got to keep some things secret. Although I can promise you, won't be any port work because it's illegal and I don't do it. All right. There you go. Thanks for watching.